Hey, welcome back to another video of the Spring Boot series. In the last uh, tutorial, we've seen how to add the products associated with the category, add the images to the product, so on. And finally, we've uh, implemented the product detail. Uh, so what we have left here, and we did also the 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 discount this. This not gonna. This should not appear here because it's zero. Should not be appear. Should not appear. But it's fine. We're gonna fix it. Uh, and now we need to add the wish list and the cards. Basically, the cards. So the. So what I'm gonna do in this tutorial is I'm gonna add. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna do an implementation of the cards and uh, anyway it's there's a lot of way to establish that but I'm gonna go with the what I think the easiest way is is this so I'm gonna create another uh, uh, two classes one is the cart item this cart item is gonna have the product and the quantity the quantity the qu the quantity ordered and uh, another 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 uh, another class or another entity it's gonna i'm gonna name it shipping cards and it's gonna have a list of or, or a set of uh, cart item and uh, the total the price the triple price or stuff like that so i'm gonna start First, here by creating a class, I'm gonna name it cart item. This cart cart item, of course, need to have like uh, an association with the product because that's how we're gonna know that we added this product to this particular cart or shopping cart and it's need something here and I'm gonna create private you gonna be just an int I'm gonna name it the quantity then and what I need is the, the product. It's the private, private product, product, product. So each card item needs to have a product, but could be the same product because we, it's a website and there will, could be many users. So many users could be ordering or uh, selecting the same products so in their cart so what the idea is the relationship is 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 many to one many product many cards many product many many cards item could have the same product so it's gonna be like this many to one and we add the fetch because I we need to make sure whenever we fetch this card item we fetch the product inside it. So I'm gonna do the eager fetch eager. So that's it I guess. Not many to any, many to one. Yes, many to one. Get rid of this, and that's it, I guess. And I'm gonna create just the basic stuff: setters and getters. And we can add a hash method and equal. We can test just by the ID. That's it. If the ID are equal, then the the cart item, the both cart item are, are equal. Says the ID is uh, always unique in the database. So I'm gonna add another class. 
class here which is shopping cards shopping cards I'm gonna name it like that and just to add this ID and uh, the entity the entity annotation and what this shopping cart should have the uh, set or list of uh, cart item because each of cart item contain a product and uh, each user may add multiple product in her or her or his car cart so that's it and first I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to this cart item because uh, I wanted to add something here uh, after this I'm gonna add private private date I'm gonna add the date so we will see why I'm gonna use this date so I can always delay the the cart item uh, that's all older like 24 hours or whatever I'm gonna name it date and so we can to persist it I'm gonna add temporal temporal type I guess it's temporal type and then like this and this temporal type date that's it so forget to add the sitter and getter and the date Then here I'm gonna add always the date. It's always it's just now it's just good to add that so probably we can need it and I'm gonna add what private I'm gonna name it double it's gonna be the total total price for example price then we're gonna need this sort of press we don't need to persist it on the database so we annotate it with the transient so uh, what we're gonna do private and it's gonna be an int uh, number item number items items number Numbers, number, number, items, number, and should be transient as well. And finally, we need the, the one each shopping cart uh, should contain many products, so hence many uh, cart items. So it's gonna be a one, one too many, and uh, always we're gonna do the cost card, so we never. We save private and use the set set of cards item
and this card items or I'm gonna name it just items that's it and I need to do the import of here I'm gonna do the cascade all because if we want to process uh, uh, an uh, actual hopping card we could be we need to process automatically the all the articulated item that exists inside it and uh, the same thing for the delete as well so that's it and I'm gonna add here private a very string token session since we are not using uh, anything and our uh, authentication we don't have a user or whatever so I'm gonna add this so I can track the cards or the shopping cards by the session so that's it and uh, I'm gonna do uh, add the setters and getters this get total price set total price we don't need it need the setter but just the getter so the getter is what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna loop I'm gonna create a what I'm gonna do I'm gonna change this collection why not just just collection I'm gonna add the four here the four four cards cards item 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 in items or item in this items I'm gonna create an end a double here double I'm gonna name it Sam I'm gonna initialize it with zero for example and iterate over the card item then sum equal to sum plus item get its price we need the get date get get product get price get quantity get, get price so that's it and I'm gonna return just the sum and get the number set the number you don't need this and I'm gonna return the the this item this items size size of the collection and uh, sits what was this uh, this should be a collection collection yes instead of the so a problem somewhere so that's it I guess and let's see go see in the in the the database so we got here the cart item it's the product ID the quantity and the shopping cart so it's the 
it has the ID, chicken ID, and the uh, shopping cart, cart item. So that's it. And I'm gonna rename this table. Just to have the same name here, shopping cart with the and in the cart item, I'm gonna just name it the cart item. Cart. Uh, so I'm gonna get rid of those these operation So that's it, and then we save, save everything, run. And then you know, create a repository, just real quick, interface, called item. So that's it, I'm going to leave it just empty for now. Shopping cart. And no, that's not a class. Sorry, it should not be a class. It's an interface. Extend your GPA repository. And here you know, we have the shopping, shopping cards and the long keys. Long and I'm gonna add just like shopping cards. I'm gonna find by find by session. And this is always a string session took. It's gonna return, and uh, we will make sure this session token must be unique. So I'm gonna have this. So let's get have a look on the. And here, product category, shopping cart items. Yes, so that's it. And cart item. 
so that's it and then in the next video I'm gonna start associating all this information with the with this UI user interface here and we were gonna implement how we can some service how we can service and control some business logic in general so how we can add to the cards remove from the cards uh, with the different quantities and product quantities and so on so that's it and see you soon